What's up, everybody? It's Solace Kingdom there, Kingdom for Fear, guys. And we're just coming on here every day, and we're doing these videos, right? We're doing these videos for the Lord. We're doing these videos to encourage people to follow Jesus Christ. We're doing these videos to encourage people to stay strong in their faith, okay? No matter what's coming your way, you are going to make, you, 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 you're going to succeed. You're going to make it whatever it is you're going through. What's up, Luke? I pray your business is going well, bro, and everything is going good, brother. That's good. What's up? But, um, guys, I wanted to come on here and talk about in their presence, in their presence. And I want to talk about Psalms 23, and I'm going to read um, Psalms a little bit of Psalms 25 as well. But I want to read Psalms 23 right now. It says, The Lord, the shepherd of his people, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And here's what I want you to know. Guys, when, when you get the Lord, you get everything else. Everything else is going to be added unto you that the Lord has for you. He's going to add it unto you. And another thing the Lord's been showing me is that, guys, you don't have to make this happen. When you let him flow in your life, it's, it's more peaceful than you trying to force things to happen. It's more, it's more relaxing. It's more enjoyable. All right? You don't have to force your business to grow. Yeah, his grace, going great all by the grace of God, working on increasing pr production for the one. Brother, God bless you. My niece is on here. How you doing, Kamira? My niece in the other room. My nieces and nephews over. But guys, I want you to know, you don't have to force anything. You let God bless you. You let him bring the blessings to you. You don't have to force anything. Okay? And it says, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me besides the still waters. What's up, Gay Reb? How's California, bro? He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Guys, the Lord does the Lord gets pleasure in leading you. He said he delights in your step. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So it says, He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Alright? He's doing it for his name's sake. He's not doing it, he's doing it so he can get the glory. That's why he's leading you to that new business partner, or he's leading you to that person that's going to help your ministry. Or he's leading you to that new person or that relationship because he's going to do it. He's going to get the glory for his name's sake. Because, you know why? Because you trust in him. Because you said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Right? You put all of your faith in him, so he's leading you. All right? This, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. This, this word that I'm reading, this isn't for somebody that's not saved. This isn't for somebody that's not, that has not committed their life to Christ. This is not for you. This is for the person that has committed their life to Christ. And they say, I trust you, Lord. I want to obey you. All right. And he said, the Lord is my shepherd. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. This is a promise for the righteous, the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. All right. You got to be saved for this promise. How do you get saved? You, you got to admit Jesus is Lord. You got to admit you were a sinner serving Satan and that you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You believe in Jesus and that he died for three days. He was dead for three days. God rose him back up again on the third day, all right, to save you, save everybody from their sins, right? He forget, to, to forgive us of all of our sins. And so we can have eternal life and have a more abundant life on earth. You can't have a more abundant life or eternal life unless you're saved on earth. You can't live in your real purpose. You can't walk in your full calling because the enemy is using you if you're not saved. I want you to know that. He was using me. I want you to know that. All right? You got to confess Jesus is Lord. And you got to get baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And then you got to ask the Lord to baptize you with the Spirit baptism so you can speak in tongues. All right? When you ask, the Lord will give it to you. I'm telling you. Ask and you should receive. All right? This, this promise in Psalms 23. What's up, Jeremiah, Natasha, Arion? This promise... It's for the righteous. How do you become righteous? It's not by your own actions. I'm not right because of what I did. I'm right because of what, a G what Jesus did. Jesus made me right. He cleansed me. He made me beautiful. Right? He made you beautiful. So it says, he restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Right? I am a mighty anointed nation. Yeah, I got this shirt on. <laughs> yeah, though I walk in, walk through the valley of the uh, of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Guys, you know why he's saying I will fear no evil? Because he knows who his source is. The Lord is my shepherd. Right? I want you to understand you don't have to fear anything. 
No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Guys, you don't have to yell and shout the word. The Lord is showing me. You, you don't have to scream. You don't have to beg to get the blessing. You don't have to beg people to bless you. You don't have to scream. You don't have to shout. You don't have to force anything. That's not the way you get it. That's not the way you take it by force. That's not the way. It's gentle. The Holy Spirit is gentle. Remember I told you he's gently aggressive. He gets things done. He's going to make sure. Look, when you walk in love and you're gentle and you're doing his will and you're being obedient, he's going to make sure he grabbed that. He's going to command a blessing. He's going to make sure. He's the one that's going to do the force. Not you. He's going to force that blessing upon you for being obedient. He's going to make sure the people bless you that need to bless you. And if somebody's holding back a blessing from for you and they're not obedient, he's going to make sure he gets it to you from some other way, from another person that wants to obey you, to obey him. I'm telling you guys, you don't have to force it. You just, you stay obedient. And it says, you prepare a table. Oh, no, no, I apologize. It says, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. You're riding your staff. They comfort me. God does not want you... To be uncomfortable. He wants you to be comfortable. Comfortable. He wants you to be relaxed. He wants you to be at peace. Doing whatever it is he called you to do. He does not want you be, to be upset and frustrated. That's that's not him. Alright? In, in your business, in your relationship. He wants you to have so much peace. That's all he talks about. He said the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Will guard your hearts and mind, guys, when you pray. Alright? You pray to him and, and you thank him in advance. And so, guys, it says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So I want you to know the Lord is doing this in their presence. All right. That's what I title it in their presence. And the reason the Lord is going to bless you in their presence is so they can turn from their sins. That's the reason that they're there. So they can turn from their sins and see so they can see that when you follow the Lord, it's rewards for this It's benefits for this. All right. It's joy for this. See. Sinners, people, people that are not following Christ, there's no way that they can be happy. There's no way they can be joyful. I don't care what, I don't care if it looks like they having the most fun life of their time. I promise you, deep inside, they are, they're not happy. You cannot truly be joyful without the Lord. Joy comes from the Lord. It's, it's eternal. Nobody, I promise you, nobody. Nobody. I want you to find one per one person that is com that feels complete without Jesus. You even see you even see people that, that are movie stars. They even start talking about Jesus because they know without Him, they would not be where they are. They know that. Guys, you cannot be complete without Jesus. And it says, "You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil." Guys, see, once your enemies in the presence of this blessing that is prepared for you, so they can see your head anointed with oil, so they can know that you're called by the name of the Lord. All right, you anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. This is why he wants your enemies there to see that they, their, their God can't do this. Their God can't make the, the, the cup overflow. He can't do this. All right. He says, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Guys, that is what the Lord wants to show to your enemies. He wants to show that when you follow Christ, this is why I need to look. This is why you need your enemies present. They need to see God. They need to see that he's real. And God is going to use you to show them so they can turn from their sins. Look, that's what that's what God did for me. He used my sister and I turned from my sins. He showed me her blessed preparing tables for her and I was going the wrong way. And that's the same thing he's going to do for, other, for, for, for the sinners because everything is about saving souls. It's never about hurting anybody. It's never. That's why I tell my enemies. I say, I say this. I said, if you want to be my enemy, I want you to know if you're going to stay my enemy, it's not going to be good for you. Because I'm on the Lord's side. So I pray for my enemies that they turn from their wicked ways. I pray that they follow Christ and realize that I'm not your enemy. I'm your friend. I have nothing against you. I have no time to, to be hating on people. I have no time for that. Got too much purpose in my life. You got too much purpose in your life to be thinking about how you're going to hurt somebody or how you're going to treat somebody wrong. But you got to mature. You got to get mature. 
But I want you to know, when you're following Christ, the reason your enemies have to be present is so they can see that this is the way to go. This is the right way. This is what, this is what I should be doing. I should be following Christ too. That's why he's doing it. Okay, guys, now I want to read Psalms 25, um, verse 8 through 14. It says, this is what the Lord is. This is what the Lord is. It says, good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he teaches sinners in the way. Guys, while the Lord is preparing a table for you, he's teaching sinners in the way. He's showing them this is the way to go. That's what he did for me and you. He showed us this is the way to go. It says, the humble he guides in justice. And the humble he teaches his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity for it is great. Thank you, Lord. Ask him that. Pardon my iniquity for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? Thank you, Lord. Who is the man that fears the Lord? Hallelujah. Guys, you got to get excited about this stuff. Who is the man that fears the Lord? He shall... He shall, him himself shall he teach in the, in the way he chooses. He himself shall dwell in prosperity. And his descendants shall inherit the earth. Are you okay? It's about to get great for us. We ain't sinners. We ain't doing what's wrong. We following Christ. We obedient. The Lord know what we do in private. And he gonna reward us openly. He know our hearts. Let's go. I want you to get excited about this word. This is more exciting than cookies. This is more exciting than going to your theme park or buying a new car or getting a new house. You got to be happy about this word. You got to be excited about this thing. And you can't be evil. You can't have evil thoughts towards people. You got to love people on purpose. You got to get this in your mind. The Lord can't bless you if you're being mean, if you're being evil to people. You got to love on purpose. That's where the blessing comes. I'm telling you. I want this to get in your mind. It says, who is the man that fears the Lord? Do you see what the Lord is trying to show us? We must fear him. And guys, I'm not getting mad at you at all. I'm just passionate. I'm just excited about this word. And I don't want you to miss this. Start now. It says, who is the man that fears the Lord? Start fearing the Lord. What is the word fear? In the word fear is the word ear. Or ears. You got to start hearkening diligently into the voice of the Lord, your God. And you got to start obeying him. And you got to start listening to him and he, taking heed to him. And he will show you which way to go. It says, him shall he teach in the way he, should, he chooses. He himself shall dwell in prosperity. When you fear the Lord, you will dwell in prosperity. Say, I am dwelling in prosperity because I fear the Lord. And his descendants shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him. Guys, if you're fearing the Lord, this is why he's showing you secrets. This is why he's showing you dreams and telling you these people aren't for you. These people are for you. This is the way to go. All right, he's telling you secrets. And he will show them his covenant. So, guys, I want you to meditate on Psalms 23 and Psalms 25, verse 8 through 14. And I just want you to know, I want you to know this, guys. I'm doing these videos every day. And nobody can stop me. You know why? Nobody can stop me. Because it's not me. It's God. Because I don't have this much strength. I don't have this much strength to come on here and encourage people every day. It's not my strength. God said, in your weakness, my strength is made perfect. It's his strength. And I want you to know that. Don't give up at your job, at your workplace, or whatever God's called you to do. Don't give up. Don't grow weary. See, a lot of times people get tired. I remember um, my friend Natasha, she's on here, and she told me before, I don't know if she remembers, she, she told me before, you told me before, she's on here, that um, a lot of times when people get tired, they start treating people wrong, or they, or they can get irritated. So rest, get your rest. When I was doing these videos, she's always encouraging me, all right? Great friend. But I want you to know the same. You got to get your rest. And it's not just sleeping at, it's sleeping at night, that's taking care of your health. All right, going to bed, go to bed early. You don't have to. Why do you stay up so late? Get some rest. All right, the Lord said he provides for those he loves while they are asleep. All right, and he's not talking about just sleep at night, but also sleep while you're up. And we were talking about this yesterday, right, about sleep, like your sleep while you're up. Resting in Christ while you're up. Receiving everything, 
All right, Satan took, right? Receiving every, you're going to start receiving everything that was took from you when you start resting in him. Even while you're up, rest in him. Let him move you. Don't move until he tells you to go. Let him lead you. Let him direct your path. All right? So, guys, I wanted to come on here and encourage you and strengthen you guys. I'm doing this every day. And all I want you to do is this. Do not focus on anybody else attitude. Don't focus on the people around you. No, I want you to focus on making yourself better. W read the word of God. Listen to the word of God. Meditate on it day and night and build up yourself. Every day I'm getting on here, I'm getting stronger and stronger. There's, new, there's, new, there's a new strength coming from me doing these videos. There's a new level. Every day I'm doing this. And guys, I don't want you to just do, I don't want you to just be excited while you're watching me. Or get glad when you're watching me. No, I want you to be excited all throughout the day. All throughout the day, guys. I want you to be excited. I want you to be joyful. I want you to smile. And when you meet new people, be expected. All right? Be expected. All right? If you, if you believe the Lord is going to bless you, why would you have a bad attitude? What, is, what, what do you have a bad attitude for? If you believe that he's on your side, why are you treating people wrong? You believe you're blessed. What are you? Why are you acting like this? Why are you, you angry? Why are you upset at people? It's because you got to work on yourself. You, you got to grow. My mom used to tell me I used to get angry, upset. And she was like, you got to work on you. It's all you. All right. It's all you. My mom, she used to tell me this all. It's all you. You got to work on you. And guess what? I fell in love once she told me that. And I started listening to personal development, growing my mindset, listening to the word of God, growing my mindset, listening to positive audiobooks. Right. Every day I'm growing. I'm getting better. And that's what the Lord wants. He wants you to grow. He wants you to develop yourself and get better. All right, guys, you get better. Okay, you, you are in control of the way you feel. You are in the in control of everything around you. Nobody can control your attitude but you. Nobody can control the way you feel but you. Nobody can control your belief but you. The Lord said, if you can believe all things are possible, not if Natasha believes for you or Luke believes for you or one of my friends believes for me. No, if I can believe, if I have faith, if I have faith, not if you have faith for me, you can't have faith for me. I got to have the faith for myself. But guess what? I got to grow myself to have the faith guys if i don't if i don't become all god called me to become it's not nobody else's fault it's my fault for not developing the gift for not becoming what he called me to be for not developing myself for because because i i'm already that but i gotta allow it so guys i love you and y'all have a blessed day but meditate on this and guys i love you i'm not look i'm doing on purpose the lord the lord already taught me this it's wisdom Never hate anybody. Hatred slows down all your blessings. All of them. You know why? It, do, you, do you know what it says in the word? This is this why you ain't got time to not ask people for forgiveness if you did them wrong. I, I'm quick to forgive. I love to forgive. You gotta forgive. It happens throughout the day. Everybody makes mistakes. But this is what I love. The Lord said this. He said, if you don't forgive other people, I ain't gonna forgive you. What? So if I love God, I got to forgive people because he won't forgive me. And when you think about it, when you think about it, why can't I forgive you for that little thing you just did? Why? Compared to all the stuff I've done that the Lord forgiven me for. Why? But you got to get your mind renewed. You got to think that way. See, people don't think like that. They don't think unselfish. They think selfishly. I ain't forgiving them. They ain't forgive me. I used to think like that. But your mind, when you get in this word, your whole mindset, it's going to be shifted. I promise you're going to start seeing favor like you've never seen before. You're going to start seeing blessings like you've never seen before. You're going to start seeing the Lord use you. You're going to start feeling more peaceful, more love, more joy. You're going to feel enthusiastic. You're going you're gonna to feel great. I'm telling you, you can't fake joy. You cannot fake joy. You can't fake it. It's from the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Do you get this? You don't get this. If you don't have joy, you don't have strength. This is why I'm so happy. This is why we're working on being joyful. Joy helps you to receive the promises. Thankfulness. Jesus always said, thank you, Father. I thank thee, Father, that thou hearest me. All right, before he rose up, Lazarus, he, Lazarus, he said, thank you, Father. 
He said, "For I do this because uh, to show them, all right? I'm only saying this to show them, Lord, all right? That's why he did it. He said, I thank thee, Father, that thou hearest me. I know you always hear me, but I thank you, Father. And then he said, Lazarus, come forth. But he was thankful. He was joyful. You got to have that joy on purpose, and it's in you. If you're saved, you're saved. The joy, and, and you know what? Everybody I'm talking to, you're saved. We believe in that. We believe in that. You're saved if you're watching this video. You're saved. You're following Jesus. You're walking in your God-given purpose. You're overcoming all your fears. You're becoming all God has created you to be. You're, you're saved. You're healed. You're prosperous. You're walking in your God-given purpose in life, overcoming all your fears by following Jesus. Hallelujah. We believe in that. So, guys, I love you, and I just want you to know that God is your only source. All right, he's going to prepare the table. Let him prepare it. Let the enemy see it. All right, let him see it. They got to see it. Let him show the blessing off. Show what he does for you off because that's going to help them recognize who God is. That's what it's for. It's not, it's not for you to become famous. It's not for you to get recognition. It's not even about you. This table, it's not, it's not about you. It's for you, but it's not about you. It's about Jesus. It's a testimony. It's to show them that, that the people that were rising up against you for following Christ, that this is the, this is the way. This is, how you, this is a real blessing. That's what it's for. So let them bless you. Let your light so shine before the, for everybody, in front of everybody, so they can glorify our Father in heaven. Show the world the blessing. Don't hide it. Don't hide this thing because it's souls attached to your blessings. They need to see it. All right? So they can come to Jesus. That's what it's for. You're a fisher of men. You're a fisher. When the Lord blesses you, he uses those blessings to fish, to, to, to reel people in, into the kingdom. That's what it's for. It's always about repenting. It's always about salvation. Everything. Everything is always about salvation. It's always about repenting. It's always about that. It's always. It's nothing else. What, what, why else would we be talking about Jesus? What is it for? What are we talking about him for if we're not talking about repenting? We're not talking about being saved. What, what, are, what are we talking about then? Why are we talking about Jesus if we're not talking about being saved? Who is Jesus? He's a savior. He's our savior. And he's more than that as well. If you look at the whole salvation package. But what's the first most important thing to Jesus? Getting to the Father. No man can get to the Father except through who? Through Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. So everybody has to go through the way, the truth. They have to go through the way. They have to get the truth. And then when you get the truth, you get life. When you get the truth, you get life. The truth will set you free from death. It will set you free from bondage. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. There is freedom. So, guys, I love you. Be blessed. Guys, I, I'm trying to show you what the Lord showed me. This is a secret. Remember, the secret of the Lord is with those who fear him. The secret is to ne never let hatred and bitterness, never let that stay in you. Release it. And let the Lord lead you, guys. Read Psalms 23 and uh, Psalms 25, 8 through 14. All right? The Lord is going to teach you in the way you should go. He's going to direct your path. You... Please do this for me. All right, do this. Do not, don't hate on anybody. That slows down all your blessings. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Walk in love. Walk in Christ. Jesus didn't care. He didn't care about his enemies. He knew, they, he knew where they was. He knew they were near him. You know they're near you. But he kept shining his light. Because he knew at the end of the day, all y'all that's hating on me, this is what Jesus knew. All y'all that's rejecting me, you're about to see who I really am. Once the promise is finished, you're going to see that I'm the Savior. So that's why he had so much peace. It didn't bother him. And I want you to do the same. Don't let anything bother you. Don't let anything shake you. Keep working on your faith. Keep working on your belief. And remember, the people that you look up to, I'm about to get off here, but the people that you look up to, they, weren't, they were not always in that position. 
They went through steps of having faith to where nothing was working for them. They went through steps of believing. And then they received the promise because they believed before they received it. And if you believe that you received it, it will be yours. So, guys, I love you. Be blessed. Take care, guys. This is the Receiving the Promise of God series, right? Receiving the Promise series. Um, my name is Solace Kingdom there, Kingdom Four for you guys. And I want you to share this video. Somebody needs to see it. Somebody needs to hear it. And somebody needs to be saved through this video. And also, check out my website, solacekingdomfourth.com. Everything is on there. I made it real simple. You can check, check out everything I'm doing. You can even bless me if, if the Lord leads you to. And, um, and just support what it is that I'm doing. My book, The Light, is on there that the Lord let me create. And um, you can just check it out, man. You can just share it. Guys, I love you. Be blessed. Take care. Later.